Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to keyword optimize your title of your WordPress posts and pages. And the reason you want to do this is an optimized post ranks better in Google. So there's a certain number of things you have to do for your on-page optimization. One of the most important ones is make sure your title is well written and has your keywords. So if you don't have your keywords yet, don't watch this video. Go below in the description. There's a link to a video that will show you how to find keywords for your post. And also, you'll need to install the Yoast SEO plugin, which really helps a lot with on-page SEO. So make sure you install that first. There's another tutorial down below this video to help you do that. And once you have your keywords and you have Yoast SEO installed, come back, watch this video. Okay, so I've gone to the Google Keyword Tool, Google Keyword Planner, and I've found my keywords for this post. My main keyword is WP Spam Shield, and my LSI keywords, or related keywords, are WordPress Spam, WordPress Spam Blocker, WordPress Comment Spam, WordPress Contact Form Spam, and Anti-Spam Plugin. Now we want to make sure that we have our main keyword between 0.5% and 5% of the content. And this is really easy with the Yoast plugin, so don't worry, you don't need a calculator. Yoast SEO helps a lot. And then you wanna have your LSI keywords throughout your content as well. And if you have the paid version of Yoast SEO, you don't need it for this. You don't need it to do your SEO, but if you have the paid version, it'll actually help you track your LSI keywords and make sure they are also in the right percentages, which is awesome but you don't need it, it's not required. You can use the free version and that one works just fine. So keep your main keyword in mind when you're writing your title. Let's go back to our post. So my main keyword appears at the very beginning, which is what we want. The sooner the keyword appears in the title, the more Google will think that keyword is important for your post and will try to rank it accordingly. And as you can see, I have an LSI keyword anti-spam plugin in that title as well. So I've got my main keyword. The WP Spam Shield is an anti-spam plugin, and this is how to use it. And I put the how-to at the end because it still makes sense when you read it, and it allows me to move the WP Spam Shield, my main keyword, further to the beginning or closer to the beginning. And so you want to make sure that your title still makes sense to read. So when I read this out, WP Spam Shield anti-spam plugin how-to, if there's a human reading it, it makes sense. They, they know what this article is about. And if it's a search engine reading it, they will give the most weight to this text at the front, which is what we want for SEO purposes. So when you're writing your titles, you have to make sure that they are readable by humans and make sense, and that search engines get the most benefit from them, as in your keyword is furthest to the beginning. And then when you uh, when you write your title, if you go down to the Yoast SEO plugin, we need to enter our main focus keyword here. So WP Spam Shield plugin for me, it'll be whatever keyword you found for your post. And it will, as you saw, I was typing that in, it updates information down below immediately. So there's a bunch of red circles, which is stuff we need to work on. There is an orange circle, which is an okay thing. It's kind of a warning. So this should be something you should do, but it's not absolutely required. The red should be done for sure. And the green is stuff we've done well. And there are a couple of these that, uh, that focus on the title, which is the focus of this video. The first is the character limits for the title. So a page title, the, the minimum amount of characters your page title should be is 40 characters. The maximum amount is 70 characters. The reason 70 is the max is because that's all that appears in the Google search results for your title. You can actually write a longer title than 70 characters. Just make sure the important stuff appears in the first 70. And by important stuff, I mean the information that's going to get someone to click on that title to read your post. So the other one that is important for the page title is this one here. The page title contains the focus keyword at the beginning, which is considered to improve rankings. And so we have green for both of those. And in further videos, I'm gonna go through all of these points to make sure they're all green and show you how to do all of those. And our goal is to have this stoplight be green. Yours may start as red, it may start as orange, or may even start as green. 
but we want to make sure the stoplight is green because then, according to Yoast SEO, it's a well-optimized page, and Yoast SEO gets most of its information from Google itself. So the stuff that you see here is stuff that Google wants to see on your post. And you can see the stoplight here. You can see the stoplight up here beside uh, the Move to Trash button. And I'm just going to click on Save Draft, and I'll show you another spot where you see that stoplight, and that is inside the post listing. So I'm just going to go to Posts, and as you can see, we're working on WP Spam Shield right now, and it's orange. But if we look down the list of posts that are currently published, we have green, 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 green. We can scroll all the way down, they're all green, because I'm doing my on-page SEO for all these posts. So in this video, we learn how to optimize the title of your WordPress post to target specific keywords that you've done research for and that you know are getting traffic. So I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share it on social media, subscribe to your YouTube channel, and check out wplearninglab.com where I write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.